I will now explain what a petroleum system is. The petroleum system is necessary for the generation and the preservation of hydrocarbons. Five key elements are necessary in a petroleum system. A source rock, which is the rock where hydrocarbons are generated, a reservoir rock, which is a porous and permeable rock where the oil or gas will migrate. The hydrocarbons tend to go up as they are less dense than the surrounding formation water. A seal, impermeable rock which covers the reservoir. A trap, in order to prevent the hydrocarbons to reach the surface. The oil and gas should be trapped in the subsurface. A good timing. The trap should exist before the oil migrates into the reservoir in order to prevent the hydrocarbons to reach the surface. I will now introduce the role and characteristics of each element of the petroleum system. Let's start by explaining what a source rock is and what its main characteristics are. As previously introduced, the role of a source rock is instrumental in a petroleum system as it is the generative place of the hydrocarbon that charge a sedimentary basin. Oil and gas are formed from organic matter such as dead plants and animals. The main characteristic of a source rock is to contain fossilized organic matter. These conditions require particular depositional settings. First, production of organic matter is needed in the area. As the depositional environment of a source rock is usually aquatic, the organic matter is generated where lives the majority of the organisms, commonly within the top 50 meters of the water column. Then, this organic matter should be preserved. The depth of water through which the material will rest is important as during the thinking the organics get consumed by animals living in the deeper waters as well as by microbial activities. This results in a dramatic decrease in the flux of organic matter as a function of the depth. A low water column is needed for the organic matter to be deposited. In addition, high sedimentation rates and anoxic conditions are needed to preserve the organic matter. If those conditions are not met, the organic matter will be oxidized or consumed by living organisms. The preservation beneath the sediments interface is a function of the rates of burial and the oxygenation of the bottom waters. After the deposition, the burial of a source rock will impact the organic matter. As soon as the burial of organic matter starts, it will be affected by an early diagenetic process. Consequently, during the initial burial of the organic matter, there is a progressive decrease on its amount and a change on its composition. This results to the destruction of the more labile organics and of polymerization. By the end of the diagenesis, the organic matter mainly consists of macromolecular material called kerogen. It is derived from the remains of the more resistant tissues. No hydrocarbons have been formed during this step. With the increase of pressure and temperature associated to the burial of the sediments, the kerogen is altered. The increase of temperature provides energy to break the license between carbon atoms. This step is a thermal cracking. As soon as the burial increases, oil and then gas are generated. The maturation has been defined into two steps. The catagenesis when oil is generated at the beginning of this phase. Then, both oil and gas are generated. The metagenesis, when dry gas is generated. 